The first triumvirate was a political alliance between Julius Caesar, Marcus Licinius Crassus, and Pompey the Great in the first century BCE. This was an alliance based on Caesar's popularity as a politician. With Pompey's popularity and success as a military leader and Crassus' great wealth. It was the upgrade for five years and all three participants would gain in the triumvirate. The first triumvirate was opposed by the Senate under the leadership of Cato. The goal of the first triumvirate was to govern Rome and share power. Each of the three triumvirates had planted something and formed the first triumvirate. Actually, they were all jealous of each other. They only joined forces because each realized that they could not achieve their goals individually because of the Senate's power and men such as Catullus, Cato, and Cicero. That's why their alliance was secret. Their aim was to elect Caesar to the consulship for, for 59 BCE. He would be able to make sure that their proposals were passed with the support of Pompey's veterans and the Roman people. Pompey was 46 years old, of an equestrian background, and was extremely ambitious with a very good reputation as both a general and a politician. In 62 BCE, as general, he had returned from fighting King Mithridates in the east. Not only had he returned as a very wealthy man, but he had eight engines which were devoted to him. He was the most powerful man in Rome. Caesar was 40 years old. His parents were two very important noble Roman families. As governor of Spain in 61 BCE, he had gained several military victories and had gained enough money to get out of the large debts he had incurred so far in his political career. Before arriving back in Rome in 60 BCE, he asked the Senate to grant him a triumph to celebrate his successes. Caesar also desperately wanted the consulship of 59 BCE. However, in order to be able to stand for election, he had to be a civilian. This meant that he could not enter Rome with, with an army that he would have to do if he were to celebrate his triumph. Crassus was 55 years old. He was a very wealthy banker from a noble Roman family. He gained his wealth during his political career. His wealth came from a number of ways. He had been able to buy many properties during the prescriptions in the time of Sulla. He had owned lots of silver mines, lent money to politicians, and was involved in many undertakings including tax collections. He was therefore very popular with the business community. He died in a fight, possibly killed by the Pompeians. Pompey and Caesar were driven apart in their political beliefs and Pompey was taking sides with the men who didn't like Caesar. Pompey had also been married to Caesar's daughter to confirm their relationship, but when that marriage ended through the death of Caesar's daughter, Julia, there was nothing holding the two together. Crassus's death just sealed the end of the triumvirate.